$16.25. So 5 minus 0 equals 5. So we put the 5 there. Now 2 minus 0 equals 2. Then we carry the decimal point down to here because that's where it belongs. Now we have 6 minus 7. That is not possible. So all we need to do is take away the 1 from this column, leaving it as 0. Then we put the one here to make it 16. So 7, 16 minus 7 equals 9. So the change that Georgie should get, Isaiah, is $9.25. Oh, I get it. <sighs> this is how the scene would look with math behind money. Okay, here's your chocolate bar. Thank you. $7. I'll give you that one. That's $16.25. Okay, now I know what change is now. I will give you $9.25 change. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy your chocolate bar. Hope it disappoints you. Bye-bye. Now we add percentages. Can I please have the uh, time out chocolate bar? Up, up there, to your left. Oh yeah, sorry, this is my first day. There you go. Thank you. How much is it? Oh, it is twenty percent off. So you know, since twenty percent off what? Twenty percent off seven dollars. So yeah. Have... Here's seven dollars. Okay, so the chocolate bar is 20% off, so just wait a second, I will get your 20 cent change. And here you go, there's your 20 cent change. Cool, thank you very much. Stop, 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 this is completely wrong. Yeah, we're going to explain this on the whiteboard in here. Oh, sorry, shut the door, please. Can you two have a seat on this table? I'll do that. Alright, so our question is 20% off $7. Okay. Because Toby's chocolate bar was $7 and the chocolate bar was 20% off, so we need to find out how much it was reduced to. Now, the easiest way to do this is to change this 20% into a fraction, which is 20 over 100, or you can go even further as to go. 1 over 10, I mean 2 over 10, or even further, 1 over 5. So realistically, you need to find one fifth of $7. Now, the easiest way to do this is to change your $7 into, a five, into $5 and $2, which is two completely different numbers in a way. So, first up, we need to find one fifth of $5, and then we'll do one fifth of $2. Okay. So one fifth of five dollars is obviously one dollar because um, we need to find one fifth of five, which is one. Um, so we've got one dollar plus whatever we figure out, one fifth of two dollars. So one fifth of 
$2. Now, the easiest way I find to do this is to rub out the decimal point. That's now 200. Change this around. 200 divided by 5, which is pretty much the same as that, which equals 40. Then you can add in the decimal point there and add it back there and there. If you want to, you can put a zero there. So our answer for one fifth of two dollars is forty cents. So you change the, you put the forty cents over here. So now you've got one dollar plus forty cents, which is one dollar and forty cents. So now that we've got that, we need to find out what seven dollars minus a dollar forty is. So let's write it like this. Now. So we need to go 0 minus 0, because they're in the same place value column, is 0. Now 0 minus 4, we can't do that because the smaller number is on top and the larger number is on the bottom. So we will borrow one from here. So this turns into a 6 because we've borrowed one and the extra one goes over there, which makes this number now 10. So now it's 10 minus 4, which is six, you put the decimal point, um, and then you've got the six dollars minus the one dollar, which is five. So Toby's chocolate bar was seven dollars, but with the 20% discount it is now five dollars sixty. Oh, I get it now. <sighs> this is what it would be like with math behind percentages. Here's my money, seven dollars. Okay, so the bar is 20% off, so I will give you $1.40 change. Thank you. Oh yeah, I know money. And this is just one of the reasons why Max makes, makes everything possible. possible. Watching. I all know that you thought that I was the funniest one. Uh, uh, uh. Nobody likes a bouncer!